So, we have made head in the first part, and now we will be making the body. Disable clipping, make plane, press X and select only faces, and place the loop around tie. Enable clipping and extrude the section center. Select outer loop and extrude it up. Arrange vertices and fix normals with Shift N. Select this loop and extrude it up. Arrange vertices. Select this edge and duplicate it. Extrude it up and make loop around shoulders as shown. Fill this gap. Now we need to extrude outer loop. Next, let's extrude arms and legs. Extrude this loop and place it around elbow. Extrude it again and place it around wrist. Same for the legs, one loop around knee and one close to the foot. And now base are done and we can add more geometry to it. Feel free to experiment with the amount of loops. Only rule R, number of words and loops around wrist and foot must be divisible by 2. Now we need to connect body part to head. For this, we need to have matching number of vertices on both outer loops. I have 39 vertices on body part, so I need to make same number on head part too. I can increase number of vertices just by adding loop cuts. And now I can use bridge to connect both parts. And now it's time to use small brush. Our base topology is done, and now we can proceed to adding details. At first, smooth this part without snapping, in this way it'd be easier to find what part we need to extrude. And so, select this part and extrude it once. Deselect these faces and extrude it again. Add loop cuts and use smooth brush. You can add details in process. To make more pronounced crease, select path of vertices and make bevel. Merge this vertex with next one to it and add one loop cut. And then use smooth brush. Next, I proceed to adding details on other parts. You can use bevels, extrusions and insets to make your model more detailed.
And now body is done. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters.